After a week of snow dumping on the Cascades, temperatures are getting warmer, and I-90 is now closed for avalanche control this morning. King 5's Gerondre live on the pass this morning with a lot of snow behind him. It looks like crews shut the pass down just a few minutes ago, Drew. How long do they think it's going to be closed, and what are you seeing up there? Jake, that's right. Washdot says it could be as much as two hours. We do know from previous times this week or, or when there's avalanche control that's done that it can be even shorter than that two hour span, but prepare for as much as two hours that we can see eastbound closed and where they have it closed is just west of the summit up here at Snoqualmie Pass. Behind us in the distance, that is I-90 there. Just in the last couple minutes, we've seen a few trucks that have gone by, but we're pretty sure those are just people that had been pulled over. Right now, it is closed on the eastbound lanes. Westbound is not closed at this point. Another thing to keep an eye on, though, if you will be traveling through the pass later today or this weekend, we do expect that there will be more avalanche control being done over the course of today and the weekend. That can mean several other stints of these one to two hour closures while this avalanche control is going on. But one of those signs of just how much snow we have seen over the last week or so, look at this giant mound behind us. We were in this exact same spot about a week and a half ago, and this mound was only, say, a few feet tall. Now I'm six foot four, and it's probably almost three times my height. So that gives you a real sense of what we've been seeing here in the past over the last week or so, Jake and Mimi.